All right, you hooligans, today I wanna to talk to you about safe sets. I know, I know, you're probably thinking, not again, I just went over this with my parents at school or even around the water cooler at work. Now at this point in your life, you might think it's okay to go 25 plus rounds with Cindy or take it heavy and short with Ned. Part of maturing as an athlete is learning how to practice safe sets. Practicing safe sets is something that we at Alternative Athletics take very seriously. Safe sets are part of a happy, healthy adult lifestyle. Now, safe sets are a matter of experience and conditioning and different to every individual. We aren't telling you to abstain from sets. Just be cautious and make sure and keep the sets safe. It's easy to tell when you've had bad sets. The symptoms are obvious to everyone. There's the Edgar suit, which we also call the walk of shame. Unsafe sets leads to difficulty navigating the stairs. Unsafe sets in the deadlift can make it hard to bend over, and nobody wants that. Even working the snatch too hard or too long can lead to symptoms of an unsafe set and make it hard to wash your hair or dress yourself. Safe sets are ones that you get the results you desire and will change as you progress as an athlete. Trust me, you don't want to take a shot at Karen or Angie until you're ready. For many people, Jason might always be too much. Even Randy looks like a good time until you realize that's gonna be an intense set. When considering extreme sets, possibly consider going in at half speed. The workout prescriptions of RX, intermediate, and beginner listed at alternativeathletics.com are just polite suggestions. Feel free to pick and choose based on your preference and experience. Remember, what is a safe set for someone else might not be safe for you. And always remember, with any physical activity, even when practicing safe sets, make sure and ask your doctor if getting your butt off the couch is right for you.